guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I'm going to do my January empties for 2018. I do have my sample products in this, so if you are looking for some reviews on those sample products that I show you at the end, please go to my sample project pan project that I have going on. I will leave links for the two January updates down below here. That way you guys can kind of see my reviews on those individual products, but I'm just gonna be mentioning them here to show you guys my total empties for the month. So let's get right into it. I don't have that many this month and I plan on doing these updates every single month so I can kind of keep better track of what I'm actually using per month as opposed to per quarter. So let's get right into this. So the first empty I have is the Retinal Makeup Cleansing Wipes and this is just like a regular makeup, I don't know, it didn't work that great to be totally honest. There's 30 wipes in here. Um, would I ever purchase this? No, I do have ones that I've already purchased that I'm going to be using up, but this I actually got from the Dollar Tree for $1 and I was using it to wipe off swatches, but in doing that I realized that it sucks for wiping off swatches. Like, I have to use one of these plus I have to include my liquid remover on it as well just because there's like no makeup remover on it. I don't know, I don't think it's worth my dollar, to be totally honest, so I won't be repurchasing any more of these, but I do have more to finish up. So I'm gonna finish up the ones I have, but continuing on, I'm not gonna purchase these anymore. It's just a waste of a dollar. Then I have my trusty, trusty Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. This is just the refill pack I always purchase. This has got 25 pre-moistened towelettes in here. I love this stuff. You guys have seen me rave on this on pretty much every single empties video that I have. Love these, would repurchase. They do leave the skin oily, but I just wash my face after. That's all I do, I love them. They work fantastic. Then a product from my project pan from last year. I have an empty and it is from Bath and Body Works. It is the White Citrus Body Lotion. I'm so glad to have this gone, but when I was getting out of the shower, I kind of missed it because the other lotion that I'm using right now is very, very thick and greasy, and this one was not. It was very thin, sank into the skin really well. It was definitely getting old, which is why I needed to use it up, but it was in my project pan last year, and I'm just happy to have it gone. Good, good product to use up. So I forgot to tell you my prices of the products. This, like I already told you, I got from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This Neutrogena Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes, if you purchase this individually, it would cost $4.99. I buy the bulk packaging at Costco and it comes with like four of those big packs and then two like travel size packs, which is not gonna be enough to travel with to be completely honest, but anyways. And then this would have cost me $12.50. They have since repackaged their um, body lotions but this is from the Signature Collection, so I just kind of priced it off of what the prices are now because I don't even know how much that was when I purchased it. The next item I have is actually a conditioner and it is from Garnier Fructis. It is the Pure Clean 92% Biodegradable Conditioner for Normal Hair and it says Stronger Healthier Hair with No Way Down. I did like this at first. It felt very clean on my hair, but then I realized as I used it more, it did nothing for my hair. Like it didn't moisturize my hair. I had to use tons of product. I probably have like half of a use in here left, but I was just done with it. I was sick of looking at it in my shower. It did nothing for my hair. So why am I using it if it doesn't do anything? Would not repurchase this. No way. No way. Anyways, if you were to re if you were to purchase this right now, it would cost two dollars and ninety nine cents. That's a waste of money, in my opinion. I love tons of Garnier Fructis products. You guys know that. That conditioner specifically, no way. The next thing I have is from Burt's Bees, and it is a moisturizing lip balm in Wild Cherry. This is all used up. I kind of dug down there as well. I don't typically like the flavored. Burt's Bees as much as I like the original version because they don't seem as moisturizing, it doesn't stay on as long, and it doesn't tingle my lips. And when the original Burt's Bees stuff actually tingles my lips, it feels like it works so much better. I actually purchased these because my son likes these. He doesn't like the strong tingling or burning, he calls it, on his lips. So we share these and I use it at night. 
I won't repurchase any more of the flavored ones, but if I get them as gifts or in like a sample pack that I want to try out, I will use them, but I'm not going to purchase them individually. I'm just going to purchase the original version. I have tons to use up though, so I won't purchase any right now. And that Burt's Bees cost $2.99. Then an uh, empty of my husband's is a Biore No Strip. He uses these pretty much like once or twice a month, depending on how he's feeling. But every once in a while, he'll get like the blackheads on his nose. And I'm like, honey, let's let's exfoliate your nose and he's like okay so he'll like sit on the chair in front of the tv and let me like white like wet his nose down and put it down and i love i know i'm weird trust me i know i love like peeling it up and like looking at all the gunkies because i never have gunkies like that because i clean my face every day multiple times a day but he doesn't do it like you know anybody else was he just cleans his face every night when he gets home in the shower but when I peel it up and I see all the gunkies from his pores, it's like so, uh, it's like so satisfying, like actually seeing stuff come off. Because whenever I use them, nothing really comes out because I don't really have anything in there. But he always has stuff and it's so fun to look at. I know. I'm freaking weird. Trust me. I know. Anyways, so this is his empty from January. We exfoliated his nose. He's got tons of these. I'm sure I'll show you a box at some point, but until then, I will just show you the individual. So if you were to purchase this individual nose strip, it would have costed 99 cents. Next thing I used up was actually a whole thing, not a whole thing in one month, let's be real, of <laughs> goodie Stay Tight Bobbies. And this was a 60 piece kit and I got the brown bobby pins, obviously because I have brown hair. So the light ones, are too light and they look kind of weird in my hair also the black ones just i feel like they don't stay as well i don't have an issue with wearing the black ones just because my hair is dark anyways but they just don't stay as well as the brown ones so i always purchase the brown ones this is actually the ones that my husband purchased for me in 2016 for christmas he put this in my stocking which was so sweet of him and i actually need more because i'm all out now so I will be repurchasing these. This only costed 99 cents. I pretty much got this from Meyer or Walmart. Maybe Target, probably not, but maybe. Anyways, you can pretty much find these anywhere and I love them. They work so good, so no complaints there. The next product I have is also another empty from my project pan from last year, my year long one. And it is the Body by Victoria Energize Body Mist in Verbania Mint. And this one is no longer selling. So I had to guess on the price for this one. And based on like the full size sprays and the smaller size like sample stuff, I guesstimated this to be about 12 bucks. I remember it being more than 10 but i remember it being less than the highest price items that they had so i guesstimated this at about 12 dollars, and i think i'm pretty much right in the money there I, I think i'm close anyways um i liked this initially when i purchased it but since then it's been years since i purchased this um my sense likings has been changing so i wouldn't repurchase this even if it was for sale but I don't know, I don't really, I don't really like this scent. My son loved this scent. He came in and used it all the time. But yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this to be honest. And the very last empty I have is from my son actually. It is his toothpaste. It is the Tom's Children's Fluoride Toothpaste in Silly Strawberry. I also had another empties of his and it was another toothpaste. It was Outrageous Orange Mango. He liked to switch them because he didn't like the same flavor every single month or every single day, which I totally get. But yeah, he actually had two of these empties. The other one was really nasty on the bottom and I didn't want to put it in here and make the whole bin disgusting. So I'm just showing you the one. <laughs> but this on here... I guesstimated them to be about $3.50, but I actually see on here that we bought it at Kmart for $3.39. So I guess that's adding on tax. I don't know, we have a 6% tax here in Michigan, so let's just say that. But I guesstimated the two bottles at 4.2 ounces each to be about $7 together. And I guess that includes tax. So yeah, I mean, he loves this stuff. 
He does not like the mint toothpaste, so this is great. And Tom's is a more natural brand. Like I've explained before, the blue on the top is a more natural brand. If you do all the colors, it goes from green, which is the most natural, to blue, which is the second most natural, and then black, which has more synthetic than natural, and then red, which is all synthetic products. So you want to go for, when you're looking for toothpaste, you want to go for a blue or a green on the top, and that's more natural brands. I am out on the hunt for a brand that does not contain SLS, and that's sodium lauryl sulfate, and that's like the foaming ness of the toothpaste but it's not good for your mouth and for your teeth and for a lot of different things so if you guys know a more natural toothpaste for kids that does not contain sodium lauryl sulfate that does contain fluoride please let me know link it down below or just let me know and i would love to check it out and if you make toothpaste and you have like an etsy shop please link your etsy shop below and i can come and pick some up well not come but i can have you send it to me and i can purchase some from you let me know because I don't want to use sodium lauryl sulfate at all anymore. Yeah, that was a big rant. Anyways, let me know. We will repurchase that continually until I find something different and better. So one empty this month that is actually a declutter that I'm going to be giving to my brother's girlfriend to try out is from Platinum Skincare and it is the Nano Hyaluronic. I always pronounce that weird. Hyaluronic with grapes, grape stem cells for all skin types, normal, dry, and oily, and acne prone. Um, you're supposed to use this in combination with your moisturizer, whether it's with it, before it, or after it, and this broke me out. Whatever is in there, my skin doesn't like it, and it actually broke me out. So I'm gonna give it to her, cause she has a lot of acne scarring, and see if this helps her at all, but it is just like a little tiny sample. I've used up these samples from Platinum Skincare before, and I've been really satisfied with the amount of uses you get out of them, but I would not purchase this because it's simply a declutter, cause it doesn't work for me. I'm just gonna run through my monthly samples for the whole month of January, really super quick. I'm not gonna tell you prices. Like I said, if you wanna see the breakdown of them, then I can post the, my sample project pans down below. But I have the OMG 3-in-1 Kit Hair Repair System. I have the Mask Bar Hydrating Peel-Off Mask. I have the Honey Skin Soft Mask. I loved this one. I will totally repurchase this. I have the AG, AG Hair Care Sterling Silver Shampoo, would not repurchase. Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief, I didn't like the smell so I wouldn't repurchase that. Kalahari Melon Oil Shampoo and Conditioner for hair, protect, hair color protection, I don't color my hair. Pointless sample for me, I didn't realize it until after. And then two samples I would definitely repurchase is the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. Love this stuff. I already have a full size, best, best moisturizer ever. Still my number one as of today. And then the all-in-one Egg Mellow Cream by Too Cool For School. This little sample, I got tons of uses out of it. Loved that too. I wouldn't, I'm not gonna repurchase that right now, but I do like that. All those samples that I just showed you were worth $29.07. And then my last section of samples that I just showed you, like yesterday, <laughs> is the Verb Leave-In Mist, Mist, and this is just a like a hair conditioner. Liked that. The Nug Face Mask in the Hydrating Formula. Really like these. The Peach Hand Cream by Tony Moly. Loved this, but I wouldn't repurchase just because of the price. The Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula Facial Moisturizer. Loved this facial moisturizer. So lightweight. Amazing. Definitely repurchased that one. Orbe Conditioner for Shine and Brilliance. I liked this, but I wouldn't repurchase just because of the price. It's like $45. And the Versace Bright Crystal Eau de Toilette Little Perfume Spray. I liked that. I wouldn't repurchase. Yeah. So all those samples that I just showed you from here are worth $15.13. So all in all, for the month of January, I used up $89.65 worth of products. And I say I used them up because I know that one of them was from my husband, one of them was from my son, but, or two of them I guess was from my son, but 
I'm the one that's purchasing them. It is joint money between me and my husband. All of our money goes in the same account. We do everything together. But personally, I know that I'm not physically using them up, but we are using them up. So our used up beauty products, and I do include toothpaste in beauty products because it is, trust me. Anyways, I'm crazy. I don't know. It's late. It's like super late. It's like black outside. I'm just saying. Anyways, so our total monthly empties is $89.65. And I think that is an awesome amount for an empties for my first month of doing this. I plan on using up a lot more for this coming month in February. I'm also going on a trip to Daytona. So I don't know how that's going to work out. We're going to be gone for about a week and a half. So I'm going to try my best to use up as much as I can on that trip and keep all my samples. If there is a sample that's like a big sample or a big product that I don't want to lug back with me to Michigan, then I plan on just taking a picture of it and writing down some thoughts on it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this empties as much as I did. Please let me know if you're enjoying the fact that I'm putting prices and totals on here with just giving this video a thumbs up so I know to keep doing that. It does take a lot of time to price out every single item and look up everything. I can also link items down below if you want me to link the items down below and to continue with the price of each individual item and figuring out the sample <laughs> prices for everything let me know and yeah in total I used up 24 products or we used up 24 products for the month so I feel really accomplished so I hope you guys are enjoying and keep using up your items that you already have no need to buy more when you already have a ton just saying anyways I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one Bye.